Hello everybody, good evening. It's great to be here once again. I'm going to make this a very quick video. I was going to make this video yesterday, but I did not get the time. It's, in my opinion, a pretty quick video. Um, a lot of videos have been made about this next subject, and I'm not going to get into their much, much better videos than mine that go into great detail. Um, but I'm going to just take one perspective from it, or one angle at it. Um, as a born again Christian, this is the view I'm going to look at it. The HR 6666 bill proposed by Bobby Rush and many others. Um, here's the deal with this one. Part of it, get in great detail, read this, but this faith based org faith based organizations uh, will get grants. It's a hundred billion dollars in grants for people who COVID nineteen trace. Here's the thing. Any faith based any church, any church that goes along with this plan, you're going to hell. You're going to hell. It's just that simple. I'm not gonna mince words. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh, sugarcoat this. You're going to hell. It's just that simple. You are going to hell. Understand that now. Yes, I'm making a judgment, and I'm making a righteous judgment. You're going to hell. It's just that easy and just that simple. Unfortunately, and it's sad. It's sad. It's very sad. So, faith-based, you do not have faith. You have no faith. You have none whatsoever. You have no faith in God because you trust the government, and you have faith more in the government than you do God. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. You are going to hell if you participate this, especially if you claim to be Christians, claim to be born-again Christians. If you are professing Christians, and at that point, that's what you become, professing, not actual, because you are participating and devil doctrine, doctrines of the devil. I want to make it quick. I want to make it simple. I get into other things, other facts. You can find these facts are out there to find. It's just that simple and sad. You are going to hell if you participate in this as a faith base. Now, next part of that, pay attention to who are claiming to be faith based and who are participating. I already know who's going to. I can tell you right now, but you figure it out yourself, unless I want to get all the hate mail in the world. But I think you know my stance, those who follow me. You know who I'm talking about and what organizations, oh, I'm sorry, denominations or religions or whatever you call them. They're organizations. They're government controlled. You know they are. 501c3, I talked about this a long time ago. That's going to be held over your head. You're a 501c3. You're part of the government, even though you're exempt from taxes. I don't think so. They're coming after you eventually. They shut down your churches. So understand this now. It is very much this simple. I can say this over and over again. Churches, if you participate in this bill, you are going to hell. Don't do it. Because in the Bible, who are you supposed to have faith in? Hmm? Your life is, belongs to who? I don't remember it saying Fauci, Merck, CDC, WHO, China, Republican, Democrat. It doesn't say that. Your life does not belong to them. If you are saved, you're, if you are saved, your name is written in the book, but you will not make it there if you participate in such a demonic scheme as this bill. Now, we can get into conspiracy theories about the 6666. I don't even have to go there. That's, that's going to be covered by a million YouTubers. I don't know if that many, but still. Just on the basis alone on a faith-based organization, the very first line, it says faith-based, the very first. It, did, it, it went into the other organizations, but the first thing it said was faith-based, and that should tell you all you need to know as a Christian. I pray that you do not go there. So churches and Christians out there, pay attention to your church. Pay attention to the church building that you go to. Are they there for you or for themselves? Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it as always. God bless. I love you. And have a wonderful day.